Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about solving inequalities. So when we're solving inequality, we're really going to go through the same steps of solving an equation. However, there is one thing that we need to change and something that we need to make sure we don't forget. And that is when we're multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative number. We must flip the sign. And... I'll show you an example of why this is the case. So let's say we had that three is less than five. So looking at that, we all know that's true. We all know that three is in fact less than five. However, let's look at what happens when we multiply most, both sides by negative two. When I multiply both sides by negative two, I get that negative six is less than negative 10. And that is not a true statement. Negative 6 is actually, in fact, bigger than negative 10. And so that's why we have to flip the sign every time, is because when we're multiplying by a negative number on both sides, it ends up creating a false statement unless we go ahead and flip that inequality. So we need to make sure that every time we are multiplying or dividing, we flip that sign. Okay, let's go through some examples of solving inequalities. And so for each of these, we're going to solve the inequality and then we're going to graph our solutions. So the first one I have is 4b minus 7, minus 1 is less than 7. So I'm going to solve this like I do for any normal equation. I'm just going to watch out for whether I'm multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So to get b by itself, I'm going to go ahead and add 1 to both sides. And I get 4b is less than 8. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And so I get b is less than 2. So you can write your answer that way. You could use that builder notation like we've talked about. Or you could go ahead and write this in interval notation, which would be negative infinity is less than 2. Any answer works that you decide to enter in, unless I state which notation I want. And then it says to graph your solutions. So to graph that, I'm going to create my number line. Uh, B is less than 2. Because it's a strictly less than, that means I need an open circle. And I want everything less than 2. So I want to draw my arrow that way. And so important thing that this brings up to just recall with inequalities if it's greater than or less than that's going to be an open circle if it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to that's going to be a closed circle the open circle indicates that we're not including two in our line of solutions while the closed circle means that we are including it Okay, let's look at number 2. So I have n over negative 2 plus 11 is greater than 12. Well, first step to get n by itself is I want to subtract 11 from both sides. And then I need to multiply both sides by negative 2. And now here is where we need to be careful. I am multiplying both sides by negative 2. So that means I need to flip my inequality. And so when I do that, I get that n is now less than negative 2. And so graphing that. I have less than, so I need an open circle. I want everything less, so I draw my arrow to the left. Okay, let's look at one more for this video. So here I have 8 minus 9c is greater than or equal to negative 28. I'm going to get c by itself, so I'm going to first subtract 8 from both sides. So I get negative 9c is greater than or equal to negative 36. And then I need to divide both sides by negative 9. Now here, I'm also dividing by a negative number, so that means I need to flip the inequality. And so I get that c is less than or equal to 4. I'm going to 
graph that. Here I have a less than or equal to, so that means I need a closed circle and everything to the left.